Hey Truth Seekers, welcome back. Unfortunately, I am here to report yet another false shooting which also took place yesterday, the same day as the Marysville, Seattle area fake school shooting. That shooting, this shooting I'm about to expose, the Canadian shooting, and every single reported shooting in the mainstream media, almost without exception, is coded with the exact same numbers. This story right here that we're about to get into has the five major numbers I talk about more than anything. 33, 47, 74, 26, 42. If you watch my video post, I've been showing you how they're coding this into everything from the White House fence jumpings. Remember the first one of those happened on a date with a numerology of 42. The man was said to be 42 years old. And then following that by 33 days came another story of a, a White House fence jumping. So these numbers, you guys, if you ask why they're important, it's because they're part of an ongoing pattern, a structure of how they wage this madness. Yesterday's numerology was 48. The reverse of that is 84. The phrase United States of America sums to 84. It might very well have to do with why we got two false shootings. So let's first watch the news coverage, then I'll expose what's shown. In Sacramento, California, a gunman and his alleged accomplice are in custody today after a shooting rampage that left two sheriff's deputies. Okay, do you guys see his face? It's like he has a smug grin, isn't it? Why is he staring at the camera? Dead, a third deputy injured and a motorist fighting for his life. Police say the suspect shot and killed deputy Danny Oliver after he approached the gunman's car following reports of a suspicious vehicle. The suspects tried to carjack two cars. Police say the pair shot and killed a second deputy before finally being apprehended. And a tragic end to the search for missing university. Okay, and then the Hannah Graham story. Anyway, let's focus on yesterday's shooting. One of the officers reported dead is 42-year-old Danny Oliver, who, if you read the story, began serving 14 years earlier, which means he started serving when he was 33. So, the name Danny Oliver in Gematria sums to 76. 76. The phrase Knight of Templar sums to 76. Knight sums to 33. Just like the word police, 33 is the highest degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. That's where the Knights of Templar come from. The word Templar sums to 31. The ranging degrees of Scottish Rite Freemasonry are 31 through 33, just like Templar through Knight. See how it all comes together? So, we got the Knight of Templar Gematria for the police officer. The word police equals 33. 47 years old. The same numbers they always code. The other dead officer, his name is Michael David Davis. It has the coded 33 in the name Michael. The total sum is 74. 33, 74, 47. What have I been saying since my very first video post? These numbers, they always code them together. They can't help themselves. And his initials, MDD, are 444, and his name reminds me very much of Michael David Dunn, accused of the loud, meows, loud music killing case from Georgia, Florida region earlier this year. Anyhow, focus on this for a second more. Michael David Davis began serving in 96. Those ranging degrees of Scottish Rite Freemasonry, 31, 32, 33, if you add all three of those numbers together, it sums to 96. That word sums to knowledge. It also sums to the religion Satanism and New Ageism. To me, both those religions are all about self-worship and, and ignorance. A lot of New Agey people up here in the Seattle region. Can't stand them. Anyhow, he said th this man, Michael David Davis, is said to have died 26 years to the day of his father, and here is the kicker. Where did I write it down at? He is said to have died in a Motel 6 parking lot. Motel 6 parking lot. Well, Motel 6 also has that gematria of 26. He died 26 years to the day of his father. 26 years to the day in the mainstream reporting. In the Motel 6 parking lot. Do you see how they put these stories together, you guys? It's a joke. 
Also, what I wanted to say is the Michael David Dunn loud music killing. The victim was from Marietta, Georgia. Marietta, Georgia. Marietta sums to 33. Marietta, Georgia is where John Benet Ramsey's from. Do you remember the little blonde girl from the early 90s with the big murder trial where supposedly her parents killed her? And if you were following the headlines carefully this year, you saw that story came back up and they said that um, it proved that DNA and forensic evidence was no good and the, and the whole story was wrong this entire time. So anyway, Michael David Dunn, also from Marietta, Georgia, town with the 33 name. John Benet Ramsey from that same town, Marietta, has a life number of 33. Her birthday is 8 6 1990. Add it all together, it sums to 33. 8 6 is also really curious. It's a number associated with a lot of bad things. On my written blog, I have a story about where the term 86th came from. It's all coded with 33. What else, right? Um, the word republic also sums to 86, interestingly enough. The word federal is 33. The connection here, the, the deeper connection, what I've noticed is these hoaxes, they oftentimes do trace back to the same town, such as Marietta, Georgia. Another one of these towns is Columbine, Colorado, which is known most for the high school shooting that supposedly happened there. If you guys haven't looked into the facts of that story, it's completely unbelievable. There are no two teenagers on this planet who could do what those two are accused of doing that day. It's just such a, it's just like all these stories. They're just absurd, insane, and obvious. And back then when that happened, I was in high school and my generation had to bear the consequences of that. At my specific high school, we had to start wearing name badges. And if we didn't have our name badge on, you know, the hall security would be yelling down the hall, Hey, Zach! Get your security badge on or you're going to be in detention. Or, you know, and just think about how ridiculous it is. The security guard is yelling down the hall, calling me by name, telling me to put my security badge on. What? Doesn't even make sense. That same year, we had to start putting extra passes on our cars. None of us need to be driving to school in hindsight, but... Yeah, it's just... Looking back, I see how it was all starting, this extra unnecessary fear-mongering. This is all from pre-9-11 and now you just look back at it all and you see what they've been doing to us. They've just been hoaxing us non-stop and how do they do it? It's because the police and the media and our government are all complicit in this and they're all coded with the same numbers I just revealed in these hoaxes. These same numbers I just showed you are everything about the foundation of our country. I think the only one we didn't cover is 66. So that's the message. Two hoaxes in one day and many more to come. I'll be here to decode them, and, and you guys can do the same if you learn these skills. Just practice that gematria, and you'll be doing it just like me. Encore, I forgot to cover the shooter's name, the man we saw at the beginning on the stretcher. His name is Marcelo Marquez. Marcelo has the gematria of 31. Marquez has the gematria of 38, a popular number in the Ebola story. Both the names Nina and Fam are 38, sums to 76, the same year Ebola was discovered. It's another post for you to check out. If you add the name Marcelo Pelas Marquez, it sums to 69. 31 should also be noted. That's the foundational degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Foundation. His initials, MM, in Gematria become 4-4. Four, four. M is the 13th letter, but 1 plus 3 makes M4. The word kill sums to 44. So... That's how they craft these names, you guys. Not just in the... Not just in the uh, not just in the news, that's how they even craft names in, in Disney movies. Uh, the, mo the most recent Disney film was Frozen, or the animated film. It was the 53rd Disney film. You've probably also heard that Disney and Pixar like to code 113 and 311 into their movies. Well, check this out. The main character's name is Elsa, right? Elsa, E is 5, L is 12, but 12 becomes 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. So her name starts with 5-3. It's the 53rd animated film. And then S and A both turn into 1. So her name is 5-3-1-1. So it has the 311 coded into it and tribute to the 53rd movie. And it's not just that one. If you go through the Disney movies, they do it like this all the time. So from the news to the movies to, to our presidential names, Barack Hussein Obama's name is a, f a false name. It's, it's a completely coded name. Because he is a completely coded agent. And um, 
That should be that's another interesting point. The word agent and the word president both sum to 47. Probably not a coincidence. Probably the way it's always been designed since the beginning. That's what I'm trying to wake you guys up to. The hoaxes that are happening, they're not something new. They didn't just start under Obama. They've been here since before this country was here. The Native Americans who are no longer here because of a genocide are the victims of this ongoing, almost omnipresent force. So that's the message. Till next time.